Welcome to the Hi, and welcome to the Crypto Carlos Fandango YouTube channel. Here today to talk about GPU mining and particularly the state of it in the UK. Um, in front of you, you've got my very modest 5 GPU rig, which I'll go into a bit more detail about in a moment. Um, but uh, I've not been able to run this much recently, and I'm not going to complain about it. Um, I'm just going to give you the facts. Um, I can't complain about the uh, the fact I cannot um, mine, you know, as much as I would want to in this country at the moment, because there are a lot of people who can't even afford to heat their homes with the cost of electricity in the UK at the moment, or do anything else. Um, so it, that just would not be acceptable. Um, but yes, this this GPU rig at the moment, I am able to run and cover the cost um, pretty much just one day a week, 24 hours. Um, over and above that, my electricity costs start to get into a, an area where it's going to start to get unmanageable. Um, so what am I doing at the moment? I'm mining Casper at the moment, um, purely because of the efficiency. Um, there's been some great work done on Lowell Miner, for instance, um, which has made it uh, uh, a lot lot better, my yield slightly better, and the, the costs of running this have gone down. Um, at the moment, with the five GPUs in there, I'm getting 568 at the wall, um, which isn't bad. Um, but as I say, one day a week, that's it. So um, let me just uh, go through what's in the rig briefly, and then I'll give you a bit more detail about the hardware I've bought and the costs. So um, it's a, a bog standard mining frame, holds a, around 12 GPUs quite comfortably. There's a uh, motherboard with many PCI slots, um, and then we've just got cables up to GPU risers for the GPUs. As you can see there. There's four GPUs up top and one down below. Um, a server power supply at the back with a breakout board that's powering the GPUs um, and just a normal PSU for um, powering the motherboard. And then we've just got some RGB fans just to help with cooling on the frame. Okay, so first up was the motherboard. ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus. Fantastic motherboard for mining because of the many PCIe um, ports on it. Um, and I got this for £205 on eBay. And the beauty was it already came with 8 gigabytes of memory and the i3 processor on it as well. So a bargain, I thought. And then next up, just to power the motherboard only, not the um, GPUs, I got this uh, brand new Integrator Mod XT 750 watt power supply. That was $39.95, brand new on eBay. And then moving on to the GPUs, the very first one that I bought, um, and the, the reason I bought this particular GPU was I didn't want to spend a lot of money. It was the first GPU um, I'd bought for my mining system. This was £309 on ebuyer.com and it's the Gigabyte Eagle AMD Radeon RX 6600. Not a fantastic performer, fairly efficient, so it was a good starting point. After buying my first GPU brand new, I decided to try the second hand market uh, and so looked at eBay for suitable GPUs and found that the 5700 XT series was fairly reasonable. This was a second hand price of £269 on eBay um, and it's performed quite well. It's not a bad um, GPU, a um, little less efficient than the RX 6600 but um, it did the job and I got good hash rate out of it across a, a multitude of coins. After the success of the first 5700 XT purchase on eBay I decided to buy another. Um, this one, slightly different, it came with a pre-installed mining BIOS so it was going to be interesting to see how that was going to perform. Um, whilst it did perform well over things like Ethereum at the time, um, the other coins not so good. It's a little bit less performant than the um, bog standard 5700 XT but still a good purchase at £240 on eBay. Now up until this point I hadn't had the opportunity to try some uh, lesser expensive um, graphics cards um, and so I decided just to see what the old RX 580 um, could could do. Um, this is the Nitro Plus version. Um, 
109 pounds second hand on ebay so not bad for an eight gig card um not a very good performer it must be said and uh, quite power hungry as well but i needed to test it for myself and see what was possible with it now this is the geforce rtx 3060 ti and this is my last purchase to date so this makes up the five gpus i've got running in my rig um, I would consider this to be my best purchase, um, brand new on ebuyer.com at £399. It's a good all-round performer across many coins. Um, I've been really impressed with it, it's doing fantastic on Casper. Um, really good buy, I thought, and uh, you know, if, if, um, if I had the money at the moment, I would be buying more of these. Um, I haven't tried 3070 series or anything like that, but this is a good card. It's very efficient. Um, and a, you know a good performer and then the RGB fan sets that I've got so that two boxes of these at $21.99 brand new on eBay um, yeah I could have got it and uh, done the job a little bit cheaper but I wanted some of that looked good as well um, so th these have lasted quite well um, they do extract the hot air away from the rig from the GPUs um, quite well as well so um, not a bad purchase these are the GPU risers I use. Um, just a brand new purchase on eBay at five nineteen eight uh, each. Um, eight capacitors. Well, this one's got seven because one was damaged in transit. That's why I'm holding it up to show you. Um, but yeah, eight capacitors, and I've not had any issues with these at all. Mining, um, even when the rig was running 24 hours a day, they've been really good at that price. Next up was the frame. A beautiful frame I was well impressed with this it was a little bit pricey at 55 quid can supposedly accommodate 12 GPUs um, I think quite tightly um, but it's very sturdy um, not very easy to put together the instructions on it were not brilliant but um, it's lasted well and everything was easy to mount on it as you can see Some other items which are a bit difficult to see, but you may see at the back there, there's a server power supply. Now this is what's running um, all the GPUs and risers via that breakout board on the right hand side there. That was um, a £49 second hand purchase on eBay. So 1400 watts, so plenty of power. Um, I have got a couple of um, HP 750 watt power supplies that I have used in the past. Um, this rig actually started moving very close to the, the limit on that, hence why I put a bigger power supply in. But with the efficiency now on um, Casper, I may be able to switch back to one of those 750 watt supply uh, power supplies and maybe shave a few watts off at the wall. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on in Hive OS. Um, so five GPUs, four of them are AMD, so they're running on Team Redminer and the one NVIDIA card running on long miner. Total of about 1.29 giga hash. <clears throat> and you can see here I'm running some scripts that are getting the best efficiency out of the cards for Casper mining. Okay, so looking at the cards, that 6600 is reporting 31 watts. It's not. Um, if you look at the, at the wall um, wattage, it's definitely doing a little bit more than that probably around the 80 to 90 watts and we're getting 170 mega hash there and then the 25700 XT's this is the one bog standard non mining BIOS 253 thereabouts mega hash and running at 68 watts so that's not too bad that's very efficient and not a bad um, hash rate at all on that card but you can see the one with the mining BIOS is not optimized for Casper mining at all. Similar hash rate, but a much bigger uh, wattage, 100 watts on that. <clears throat> then that uh, little R Radeon RX 580 for £109 second hand. Not a bad hash rate, but massive wattage, 145 watts. Um, really, I should take that out of the, of the rig, but I've decided to leave it there and let it... Uh, accumulate some more coin. Um, may have to look at that in the future, uh, cutting that down if electricity costs get too high. And then the workhouse, works, well, workhorse <laughs> of the rig, 
the uh, RTX 3060 Ti, which is doing fantastically. 429 mega hash at 62 watts. That is phenomenal. <clears throat> and that's partly down to the efficiency of the uh, low miner software, uh, which the developers have done a fantastic job over the, the past few months. So they can see it. 568. This is at the wall consumption. I've actually added in HiveOS the uh, additional um, power consumption from the other power unit. Um, so that is a total of 568 watts for the whole rig. Um, and you can see here there's a little bit more about the motherboard and the 4-core i3 CPU that is running on it. Okay, a little bit about the cost then. As I said, electricity prices in the UK are absolutely ridiculous at the moment and we have no idea what, why. Um, currently 36 pence per kilowatt hour. So yes, it is costing me, I think it's about £4.80 a day to run this rig. So now you can see why I'm not running it more than one day a week. Um, yeah, not profitable on any coin whatsoever. So I'm just doing speculative mining as much as I can. So I'm just I'm just getting coin of you know what I feel is best to mine at the time, um, and and purely just hoping that you know, I'll hodl that and it'll go up in the future, and I may 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 be able to make some money back. But yes, I'm covering the electricity cost myself and taking the loss, just so I can mine. Now you're probably asking yourself. Carlos, why are you mining at a loss? Why aren't you buying coin? Well, believe me, that's what I used to do before I started crypto mining. I did used to purchase crypto using uh, various exchanges. I used to trade as well. Um, but now it would seem I can no longer do that. Um, I tried to purchase coins, um, you know, tried to trade, and it was about just over a year ago. I started to get messages saying that um, from the exchanges saying that the government in my country um, had decided to not let me buy cryptocurrency anymore. Um, and I obviously went through my various bank cards, my various credit cards, and one by one they all gave the same message um, and I was blocked. So there is no other way for me to get crypto at this point in time other than mine it. So that's what I'm doing. So that's pretty much the story for GPU mining, residential GPU mining in the UK at the moment. Um, will it change? Well, none of us have a crystal ball, we don't know. Um, but I will continue to do what I can. I will continue to mine what I can um, within my cost sort of range. Um, there's nothing more you can do. Uh, we, don't, we, we don't know what's going to happen to coin prices. We don't know what's going to happen to electric costs. Um, there is talk of another rise in the UK in uh, end of March. Um, if it goes up any further, this may have to be turned off um, until things change in some manner. So hopefully that won't be the case. I'll be con able to continue to run it for at least one day a week, um, but we will have to see. So I hope this video has been informative and it's given you an insight into what uh, mining in the UK is like at the moment, GPU mining. Uh, yeah, I watch a lot of Red Panda's videos in the States um, I think he's paying 10 cents a kilowatt hour farming rate oh would we love that um, but unfortunately not here in Europe things are slightly different but um, anyway I uh, hope you liked the video please subscribe and hit the notification icon if you want to know when I put up further content because I will keep you informed as to how mining is going any improvements I can make in efficiency on this GPU mining rig uh, any additional hardware I decide to put in who knows Okay, so I'll see you next time.